guest is a comedian. Let's give a huge round of applause to Jesse Singh. Woo! What's poppin', man? How y'all doing? All right, cool. I feel like uh, this is how you know you made it as a Canadian comic when you made it on Rogers Nighttime, right? Because we have such a huge fan base. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it sucks, though. I probably won't even get to see this because I'm with Bell. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. Um, I, I used to do this old joke a lot about my dad. Yeah, like uh, my dad lost me when I was younger. We were playing a game of hide and seek, right? And it was it was his turn to hide. But the only problem is he's really good at the game, cause cause I've been looking for him for like 12 years now. <laughs> yeah, it's messed up. But uh, but the the messed up part is my I actually had to tell my mom that joke, <laughs> like, and and she thought it was hilarious, right? So she wanted to add her own spin to it. And one time she was chilling watching TV, right? And I walked in the room and she looks at me and she, she goes, Oh, I just see, look, I found your dad, right? And I looked over at the TV. She was watching an old news coverage of when they found Bin Laden. <laughs> yeah, it was messed up. But yeah, man, I, um, I don't know if you guys could tell, right? Because I have a very uh, thuggish and gangster exterior. That was a joke. I'm 20 and I'm balding. I look like a fat brown Caillou. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, no, I do. I catch I catch feelings real fast. Like I remember this one time I took this girl to the movies once, right? And I got like popcorn on my pants, and she leaned over and she wiped it off. And I looked at her, and in my head I'm like, God damn! So like, so where is this going? Like, what what are we gonna name our kids, right? <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, recently. I, d I discovered something about myself. I, uh, I'm real into black girls. I really like black women. Um, but the only problem is I don't think the feeling is that mutual, right? Because cause a lot of black girls I met, like, they're real raw about stuff, right? Like, they'll tell it to your face. I, like, and I remember I did a show, and I was like, and, and there was a black girl in the audience, and I said that, and she looked at me, and she's like, you better choose your next words carefully because they might be your last. They, you know? And I remember I was flirting with one, one black girl too, right? And she was like, she was like, oh my God, Jesse, come and tear this up with your ugly ass hairline, that thing. <laughs> Talking about you 20, but your forehead look like it's retired and has a pension. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I really like white women too. We like white girls. Uh, I don't know if you guys could tell at home there's some white women here. Cause I know they're here because I could smell the Starbucks. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, I do. I really like white women. And... um. The thing is, though, I really want to marry a white girl that has an insane amount of white guilt. <laughs> and uh, let me explain. It has nothing to do with race. It's just because I feel like I would win every single argument that we have. Like, if she ever came in the room and I was like, oh, my God, I'm hungry. I'm starving. You made dinner for yourself. That's selfish. I'm going to just look at her and be like, yo, you know who else was starving? Gandhi. <laughs> you know? And the sex would be amazing. We could role play. Like, I'll dress her up like Christopher Columbus. <laughs> and then when she walks in the room, I'm going to be like, hell yeah, you're about to discover the right type of Indian this time. That's <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. My name is Jesse Singh. Thank you. <laughs> All right, come join me on the couch, Jesse. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank How long have you been telling jokes for? Um, it's been about two years now. Okay. But the first year when I started, I was a little bit inconsistent, and then now I've you know, started to get real into it. Nice. Okay. And um, so being consistent, are you performing anywhere soon that we could see you at? Yeah. Um, I'm actually, I do an a end-of-the-month comedy show up okay. in Woodbridge at Pine Valley and Highway 7, and um, I host it myself. We usually gather some comics together, so you guys can come check that out. Cool. Yeah, at, um, at NV Risto Lounge. Oh, nice. Yeah. And what time is that at? It's at 8.30s at the last Wednesday of every month, and our next show is going to be on January 25th. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. And how long has that been running for? So we it's actually pretty recent. We've only done like three months so far, but it's always been a good turnout. Everyone had a good time, so, you know, you guys could come out. And That's there's no cool. cover charge, so, you know. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And we can see you, we can find you online as well, right? Yeah. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Sing 9 or uh, Twitter, which is my government name, just Jeevan Singh, and uh, Facebook as well, same thing. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Jesse. Make sure you guys check him out online and in Woodbridge in January. Appreciate it.